Looking for some exciting adventure on the big screen? Disney has you covered with Strange World. A movie that strangely had almost zero advertising and for some reason didn't head straight to Disney+. Plus. Let's talk about it. I only bring up the Disney Plus thing because I feel like Strange World is not a movie that's going to do very well at theaters. As I stated, it had almost no marketing push behind it. It's not a known property. And people just don't seem to be going to movies anymore unless it's something they're familiar with. And that's kind of a shame because Strange World's not a bad movie by any means. It's actually pretty solid. This is going to be a spoiler-free video, so don't worry. I'm not going to ruin any of the twists and turns that are in this. And you know what? There are actually a couple cool twists that make this movie interesting. It keeps it from being your standard stock adventure film where different generations of heroes learn a lesson from one another. Now, it does have that, but the way it does it, I think, is a little clever. It goes beyond some of your basic tropes. Dennis Quaid plays Jaeger Clade. He's an adventurer. That's all he's known for. That's all he knows. And he's damn good at it. He takes his son, as he playfully refers to as Searcher, everywhere with him on his misadventures. Searcher is voiced by Jake Gyllenhaal, who I honestly thought was voiced by Paul Rudd. I didn't know until I looked it up on IMDb, but the whole movie, I'm like, that's got to be Paul Rudd. It's just a, it's like not a problem. I'm just pointing it out. Father Clade and his son don't see eye to eye. They're very different individuals. So when Searcher's dad wants to go beyond the mountain peaks and Searcher sees that there's something that could help their planet survive, they butt heads and tragedy strikes. The movie then jumps forward like 25 years and we see a very different world. One entirely built up by Searcher and his findings all those years earlier. But the humans have laid all their energy producing crops into one basket. And once they produce a cold, the planet as they know it's gonna start dying off. And it's now up to Searcher all these years later to once again go on a quest to find a solution to this problem. Along the way, he and his team are gonna discover some beautiful vistas, strange creatures, exotic locations, and it's all rendered beautifully in that top tier artistry that Disney's known for. The movie's also paced pretty well too. It's an hour and 45 minutes long, probably could have shaved off a little bit, but as it stands, it has a very good pace. There's a ton of messaging here. It's not subtle in the slightest about environmentalism, how we're destroying the planet, about different generations of fathers pushing their baggage and their hopes and dreams on their children, trying to make the best byproduct of themselves, but not really listening or paying attention to the kid and instead being selfish. It's, it's all there. It's all very obvious. The thing that's going to piss people off, which has often been the case lately with Disney as they try to branch out and try to tell different types of stories and involve different types of people, is the son is gay. This doesn't bother me in the slightest. I have a 10 year old son I took to the film. We both really enjoyed it. He clearly picked up on it. No, the son isn't like making out or anything, but again, everything's so hit over your head. It's not talked about a lot. There's two scenes total, but I know it's enough to piss people off and it's clearly why the movie is at 56% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm bringing this up not to bash on anyone, but as a public service announcement so you know what to expect in case you're thinking about taking your kid and you feel uncomfortable with that sort of thing or trying to explain it to a small child. There you have it. As for me, this movie was pretty solid. It wasn't anything amazing by any means, but uh, it was honestly better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I was expecting a pretty straightforward affair. Like I said, there's a couple twists and turns that keep you invested and thinking, oh wow, I didn't see that coming. I like what they did here. Bravo. Let's move on. There are some fun side characters. The son who I mentioned, he's definitely the worst part of the film. I kind of was annoyed of him. Like he goes out of his way to do dumb crap and make things harder for the adults in the room. Do I suggest you rush out and see it? No, this is a movie you can watch at home. I don't think it needed to go to theaters. There's just not enough there for me to say, yeah, absolutely, day one, go out and watch this. That's really all I have to say. Strange World's a solid film, nothing that's going to set the world ablaze by any means. Looks pretty, sounds great, gets in and out pretty decently quick, and it entertained me, so it did its job. All right, those are my thoughts on Strange World. Let me know in the comments if you saw it and what you thought. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't as I post tons of movie content each week. I'd love to see you stick around. Take care. Oh wow, what a gift, you're still here. Since I still have you, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, becoming a YouTube join member right here on YouTube via that join button. 
And I'm also on Twitch, live streaming a podcast with my buddy Bless every single week going forward. It's a fun time. I'd love to have you there.